Good evening and welcome to Compline on this Friday evening. Let's just take a moment to maybe calm our hearts and minds from not just this day, but the weeks that we've had. Let's do that in a moment of quiet, shall we? Lord, you will keep us safe and protect us forever. I'm placing my soul and my body in thy safe keeping this night, O God. In thy safe keeping, O Jesus Christ. In thy safe keeping, O Spirit of perfect truth. The three who would defend my cause be keeping me this night from harm. I call on you, O Lord, for you will answer me. Give ear to me and hear my prayer. Show the wonder of your great love, you who save by your right hand those who take refuge in you from their foes. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Lighten my darkness, Lord. Let the light of your presence dispel the shadows of night. And as we come to our first reading in December, let's use our trusty little book and hear what Jesus has to say to us tonight. I love you with an everlasting love, which flows out from the depths of eternity. Before you were born, I knew you. Ponder the awesome mystery of a love that encompasses you from before birth to beyond the grave. Modern man has lost the perspective on eternity. To distract himself from the gaping jaws of death, he engages in ceaseless activity and amusements. The practice of being still in my presence is almost a lost art. Yet it is this very stillness that enables you to experience my eternal love. You need the certainty of my loving presence in order to weather the storms of life. During times of severe testing, even the best theology can fail, can fail you if it isn't accompanied by the experiential knowledge of me. I think that's supposed to be experiential knowledge of me. The ultimate protection against sinking during the storms is devoting time to develop your friendship with me. Let's have a prayer as we move into a time of quiet. Heavenly Father, help us to pause and spend time with you. As we enter December and Advent and the expectation and the looking forward, Father, help us not to just look forward to the rush and the presence and who shall we buy presents for and what do we buy them and it becomes such a panic. Father, give us that ability to stop and to remember why we celebrate Christmas and to ask for your peace in our lives and in our world. Amen. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together, shall we? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Amen. Christ with me sleeping, Christ with me waking, Christ with me watching each day and each night. Save us, Lord, while we are awake. Guard us while we are asleep, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in his peace. God with me protecting, the Lord with me directing, the Spirit with me strengthening for ever and forevermore. In the name of the Father precious and of the Spirit of healing balm, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I lay me down to rest. The peace of all peace be mine this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being with me this evening, maybe the whole week. Please do take care of yourselves and remember to take care of those around you. And let's remember to pray each day for the world in which we live. It seems lost and very wounded. Let's continue to pray for them. Good night and God bless you.